Energy is an indispensable necessity for human existence, and as a result, batteries have consistently been in high demand. Batteries become essential when we require a power source for devices that cannot be conveniently connected to an electrical outlet. Researchers worldwide are actively engaged in the pursuit of superior battery technology. Notably, a fierce competition has persisted between Tesla and its rivals, with Elon Musk consistently leading the charge in this battery technology race. Elon Musk has playfully tantalized investors and competitors with the promise of an impending battery day. Imagine a future where you can go an entire day without the need to recharge your phone's battery. Picture your phone's battery enduring for a week, a month, a year, or even an exceptionally extended period. Consider the possibility of such a world existing in the present moment. This is precisely what the latest offering, the nuclear diamond battery, promises, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about energy storage. What are the prospects of this innovation becoming a reality, and how might it benefit humanity? Join us as we delve into Elon Musk's groundbreaking new nuclear diamond battery. Nuclear waste, a hazardous byproduct of nuclear power generation, is a form of radioactive waste that people are reluctant to have in close proximity to their homes or transported through their communities. This harmful substance is both toxic and long-lasting, taking thousands of years to decompose completely. Nevertheless, the San Francisco-based inventors of the nanodiamond battery, NDB, assert that their high-powered diamond-based alpha-beta neutron voltaic battery can offer a sustainable and enduring power source for electronic devices, potentially transforming the energy landscape. They assert that they have developed a self-powered battery derived from nuclear waste, boasting an astonishing lifespan of 28,000 years. This longevity makes it well-suited for applications in electric vehicles and even everyday devices like iPhones. The battery is crafted using two varieties of nanodiamonds and generates its own electric charge, as opposed to merely storing energy sourced from external means. This unique feature renders it exceptionally resilient, particularly when utilized in vehicles and other mobile devices. According to the manufacturers, they maintain that their battery emits less radiation than an average human, rendering it safe for various applications. Imagine the prospect of powering critical medical devices such as insulin pumps or pacemakers for an entire lifetime with a single battery. It might even enable a rover to collect Martian regolith samples autonomously for decades on end, eliminating the need for human intervention. These are indeed ambitious goals. The question arises, can NDB's bold claims actually become a reality? Let's explore further. NDB employs minuscule layered nanodiamonds to construct its nanodiamond battery. The remarkable heat conductivity of diamonds significantly benefits electronic equipment, as indicated by a study from the University of Houston's College of Engineering. Diamonds are renowned as nature's most efficient heat conductors, surpassing copper or silver by three to four times. Scientists employ a technique known as chemical vapor deposition, which involves subjecting gases to extremely high temperatures to induce carbon to crystallize on a substrate material, in order to produce these tiny microscopic diamonds. However, it's important to note that, according to NDB, this method comes with cost-related challenges due to the energy-intensive and expensive nature of creating these unique diamonds. Given that these diamonds are doped with boron, the outcome is quite evident. This technique results in diamonds possessing a distinct blue hue and exhibiting superior conductivity compared to regular diamonds. Although naturally occurring blue diamonds do exist, they are notably more challenging to find and significantly costlier than their synthetic counterparts due to the scarcity of boron within their carbon structure. The diamonds utilized in NDP's batteries boast a striking blue tint, resembling genuine blue diamonds, which happen to be among the rarest gemstones on Earth. Authentic blue diamonds originate from the Earth's lower mantle, a region located between 410 and 1,680 miles beneath the surface, as disclosed in a study published in the journal Nature in August 2018. There are only three diamond mines globally that produce blue diamonds, accounting for their elevated market value. Prices for these precious stones can be exorbitant, such as $15,700 for a 0.03 carat dark blue diamond or $75,000 for a 0.25 carat light blue diamond. Following the acquisition of nano diamonds, NDB incorporates them with radioactive isotopes derived from nuclear waste. 
The uranium and plutonium utilized in this process are radioactive isotopes, and it is probable that they were sourced from the waste of nuclear power plants. These diamonds demonstrate remarkable efficiency in dissipating heat produced by the radioactive decay of isotopes, to the extent that they actually generate electrical power. According to Nima Gol Sherifi, the CEO of the company, this energy is harnessed by the NDB transducer from the decay sources and subsequently converted into electrical energy. NDB's objective is to manufacture batteries in various standard and unique sizes, including A, AAA, 18650, and 2170, featuring multiple layers of stacked diamonds, a small circuit board, and a supercapacitor for the collection, storage, and discharge of energy. The primary focus is on achieving exceptional longevity, and according to NDB's estimations, these batteries could last an astounding 28,000 years in low-power applications, such as satellite sensors, offering a usable life of 90 years even as an automotive battery, surpassing the lifespan of any individual vehicle. The company envisions the possibility that a single battery could serve multiple purposes, including powering various vehicles. NDB's assertion is that these batteries could be particularly advantageous for extended space missions where uninterrupted power is essential, as seen in satellites. As an illustrative example, consider NASA's Voyager space mission, which was launched in September 1977. This mission utilized three multi-hundred-watt radioisotope thermoelectric generators MHWRTGs, to provide power for its instruments as it explored the outer regions of the solar system. Each generator's output, starting at 158 watts, fell short of the energy needed to power a household light fixture for a year. These diamond battery cells retain the capability to supply power to Earth-based electronics with higher energy requirements, such as LED displays found on tablets and mobile phones. The solution to this question might be, is there a diamond battery available that efficiently utilizes nuclear waste, offers a lifespan of hundreds of years, and relies on minuscule diamond layers? Unfortunately, it's a bit more intricate than that. First, because each individual battery cell can only produce a limited amount of power, scientists must combine significant quantities of these cells to operate large devices routinely. This considerably escalates both the cost and complexity of the setup. Moreover, there's the matter of degradation, as scientists introduce radioactive waste into the diamond cells, creating an inherent structural flaw that, from a statistical perspective, will eventually lead to the failure of some cells over time. Consequently, a small fraction of nanodiamond batteries might experience malfunctions or become disposed of as they become incorporated into future commercial devices. Nevertheless, the diamond battery remains a promising initiative. Despite these long-term use challenges, devices like hearing aids and pacemakers could stand to benefit from this technology. If these challenges can be addressed, it would mean that individuals, whether young and in need of a hearing aid or elderly with a pacemaker, wouldn't have to undergo potentially distressing surgeries repeatedly. Imagine the convenience of this technology applied to a smartphone like the iPhone, capable of recharging your battery from empty to full five times in a single hour, all with a battery of the same size. It's a concept that promises immense convenience. NDB's inaugural commercial product is set to debut this year, starting with a smartwatch. This watch, powered by a single long-lasting battery, becomes something of a family heirloom, a treasure to pass down through generations without the need for replacement. Elon Musk's Tesla is working towards revolutionizing the automotive industry, aiming for cars with ranges of 400 to 500 miles or more in the near future, thanks to larger and faster charging batteries. Musk's vision aligns well with the potential offered by a nuclear diamond battery. Decarbonizing our economy relies on access to improved, cost-effective, and efficient batteries. NDB foresees a low-power commercial version becoming available soon, with a high-power version anticipated within approximately five years if their plans proceed as expected. The company envisions their technology powering a broad spectrum of devices and vehicles, from satellites to locomotives, and aims to offer competitive pricing compared to current batteries, including lithium-iron, and possibly even more affordable at scale. In an interesting twist, nuclear waste owners might find value in having NDB handle their hazardous waste, seeing it as a valuable resource rather than a problem. What are your thoughts on this groundbreaking nuclear diamond battery? Do you believe it has the potential to revolutionize various industries? 
please share your opinions in the comments section below.